Hello, and welcome to the Unveil podcast, where it's usually my job to interview some of the great and good of the healing and humaning worlds. Um, whereas today, as you can tell, it is a solo episode. Um, I am going to just give everyone um, a bit of an update on what, what's happening with the Unveil podcast, what's happening with the Unveil Academy, what's happening with the Aletheia group, um, and with my particular work. Um, and some of you will know some of these updates because you follow me on Instagram or I've spoken to you. Um, but this is, you know, just an opportunity for me to speak to you, my audience and our fans and those who have been following along with the journey. Um, as you will all know, I am very open about what I move through in my life. I talk about it openly and I'm very pro um, vulnerability, especially in leadership and teaching and all of the work that we do here at Unveil is all about being really clear with our stuff. And so the beautiful thing that I get to do with this podcast is I get to bring my reality to the fore. Um, and all of the episodes that I did with Brace at the beginning of the Unveil podcast's life, um, we were very open and we shared very cleanly and with love about everything that we move through. And I don't intend to change. <laughs> um, I feel like there's, a, there's an argument for um, keeping some stuff back, um, which people make that argument to me a lot and I get to make my own choices. Um, and so this podcast is going to be the only public comment I will make on um, the recent shifts in my professional life. Um, you, a lot of you will know because I've mentioned it a lot that for the last nine months, I have contracted the services of Unveil Enterprises, which is my company, um, to Kuya, um, a health and well-being facility, mental health uh, support facility here in Austin, Texas. Um, I have essentially focused all of my energy and attention there. It has been a very, very full-time, more than full-time position, um, supporting them, building and designing their comprehensive medical programs and seeing the clients um, with a team of really great people, um, really great physician, um, great health coaches, all of that sort of thing. Um, and so... Um, I am bringing you today the update that I have elected to terminate my contract with Kuya. There are many reasons behind that decision. Um, the truth of which I am going to keep private. There are, there's a lot of speculation in the community. There's a lot of uh, narratives going around and it's all fine. Um, I don't really want to com comment publicly on certain things that happened. I feel very strongly that the best thing for me right now is to focus future and focus forward and focus back where my heart is calling me. Now, I have been through a lot in the last nine months. It's been a really challenging time, especially in the recent couple of months. Um, I am exhausted <laughs> um, and I'm feeling pretty drained by a lot of things. Um, if I'm honest, it's been really hard um, and emotionally hard. Um, but I think the upshot of all of the experience is that I get to regroup and put my efforts back into where they needed to be all along, actually. And that is here in Unveil doing what I'm here on this planet to do. Um, and at its core, that is the reason why I chose to terminate my contract at Kuya. Um, I became very aware that it was not where my soul's mission was going to be fulfilled. And that is an awesome thing to learn. Um, and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of big vision and grand vision and great stuff happening over at Kuya and it's not where I need to be. Um, there is an interesting reality that's happening in my world at the moment where I am being asked to step up um, and to really take ownership of what I am here to do and to be and to bring. And for me, that requires a lot of like internal work of actually understanding the magic that I do bring to the table. And so I am really excited about the future. Um, the Unveil Academy, as we speak, we are about to head into the final month of teaching. I cannot believe that we have got through uh, a year of education and it's been the most 
exciting, exhilarating, draining, crazy journey that I've had with my students. Um, and in all honesty, they um, could have done with more from me. And I really wanted to be able to deliver more. Um, and so again, another reason why I really need to be focusing on what I'm doing in this world as an educator. Um, I was amazed at the content that came through me as I designed the course and as I held weekly Q&As for 90 minutes, sometimes up to two hours with my students. I, I have never felt so on purpose as I have done in the last uh, academic year teaching. Um, I am not going to be running the exact course in September. Um, I don't yet fully know what I'm doing with some of it. I think a, a rethink is going to be on the cards, but it is not my priority right now. Um, I do think that the education that has been created is valuable um, and it will be something that I will regroup and reconnect to at some point. Um, but it's not an immediate uh, thing that I'm going to push to get uh, launched in September. There's a hell of a lot of work that goes into just the infrastructure and the back end of those sorts of things. So currently, as of the date of recording, which is June 26th, um, I am not thinking of launching it in September. Things could change. <laughs> so I think reflecting back to this time last year, I, I built most of uh, the course between now and the September. So who knows? Um, but that said, the mo most interesting thing and the really important thing that I'm doing at this moment in time is um, focusing on the Aletheia group. So the Aletheia group is where my health services live from my functional medicine through to all of the coaching work. It all now lives in the Aletheia group. It is the only place you can now see me as a professional and it's going to remain that way for a little while at least. Um, I have been designing and building healthcare uh, for a very long time. And I'm very clear on what I believe needs to be in the infrastructure of healing packages and services. And I also know that sometimes there's an element of we just need to have some support in some places. So the Aletheia group serves as both of these things. There are a la carte services where people can book one-off consults, one-off tests, all of those sorts of things. And there is also a whole suite of concierge services where people get access to me and my network um, and all of my support that I offer on a monthly basis. And that is going to be growing. So I am in conversation with a lot of my really close uh, colleagues and people who are all deeply centered in somatic oriented, nervous system aware, trauma informed care. It is the most important thing to me that everyone that works with the Aletheia group and for the Aletheia group comes from that basis, comes from the deep understanding of trauma imprints, um, the nervous system influences and all of the things that happen around the physiology and the psychology and the emotions when trauma is involved, which is always. So the Aletheia group is all set up. It was all set up and it has been for nine months, even though I've not been focusing on it. Um, all of the systems are in place. And so I am now taking cl clients back in the Aletheia group um, and we are open. I get full, my coaching services, my concierge services are capped at a certain am uh, amount per month to ensure that I can really be of service to everyone. And so I expect spots to fill up. Um, I'm also doing human design reading still. Um, people tend to find me for that somehow through the interwebs, but you can always just go through, through the link in my Instagram bios and all that sort of stuff. And you can book human design readings, et cetera, there. Um, and it's something that I love to do, um, being a guide with human design and gene keys. In fact, it's been a big part of the educational stuff that I've been doing recently for the Academy has been human design related training. And I may very well be launching a standalone human design training because people keep asking me for it. So that is almost built. It is in existence. And so this is really just to say that I am really refocusing back on where I built, what I built and, and where I was building from prior to joining with Kuya. Um, it's a really delicate time for me, um, kind of emotionally and physically, um, I haven't had the best of health in the recent months. Um, and it's something that is still under investigation. Um, and I still really don't know what's happening. Um, 
but I am hopeful that um, all of the neg really nasty negative stuff has been ruled out. I've had MRIs, I've had various tests done, which have ruled out some of the scarier stuff. And so I'm hopeful now that I have some more space, some more time and some just a, a separation from the intensity that I've been in in the last few months, that my health will improve naturally in and of itself, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, I am focusing back here. You will see me more on Instagram. I have been very AWOL. I have been very focused elsewhere, but you will see more of me around and feel free to reach out if there's anything that you would like to hear from Unveil, if you would like a guest on the podcast, if you would like different forms of training, if there's something that would be interesting to you, reach out and let me know. I am also going to be focusing more on the Unveil community which I have focused not at all on in the last uh, year. Um, and there will be more content coming out, more ways to get involved in everything that we're doing over un at Unveil. Um, the thing to say, and just to conclude, the, the reality of the Aletheia group and the way I deliver healthcare is it is so important for me to be doing it from the perspective of true human transformational healing. Aletheia is, it's called, it's the word for truth. It's truth is what it means. And truth underneath all of our healing always comes down to love. It can't not, but love isn't easiest to access for everyone. So the founding principles of the Aletheia group are love, but also safety and trust. And when I say trust, I mean deep trust in the patients, the clients themselves, to be the ones who do the healing journey. Um, I am very honored and privileged to be alongside my clients as I walk them through these journeys. Um, but it is not me doing the work. In fact, I can't do the work for my clients, um, <laughs> much as they would like me to and I would probably volunteer for. Um, but I have noticed that there seems to be a real a real calling for healthcare delivered differently. And there's many people trying to do it now. And there's many alternatives to the allopathic model. And they're all great. And I feel like the one thing that I know that I bring that um, really makes the difference, it is this complete trust that my client has this. And it stems from that love. And it also stems from that safety. And so everything that we do at Aletheia is about um, sovereignty, about empowerment. There's a a big principle I have not to hold any information hostage. You know, if, if there's something real that you need to know for your health, I'm available to get it for you. Um, and I work with my clients. It's a very collaborative process um, because that in and of itself changes the nature of the relationship and the dynamic instead of being doctor patient it becomes very much a collaborative togetherness of allyship and I've learned very strongly in teaching my academy over the last year that it's these softer things that are not the disciplines it's not the tools it's not the techniques it's the softer things that truly transform the entirety of the container it is never the technique on its own and sometimes the technique adds to the service but sometimes the best way to help someone heal is just to be with them in their pain and so a lot of the work that we do at Aletheia is softer it's slower it is much more founded in a heart-based soul-centered frequency than um, my previous functional medicine practices have been um, and it really is the true uniting of all of my disciplines and, and really delivering them all under one roof, which I only realized in the last week that I've never done that before. So when I had my practice in um, Harley Street in London, I was not doing my human design and gene keys at that point. In fact, it was the day before. The day that we locked down in South Africa, <laughs> that um, I was like, I, I need to bring that back. I need to make sure that that's in my world my soul centered stuff is in my world and all of my real knowings about how trauma manifests in physiological health stuff is in the Aletheia world and it feels like the first time I get to to do it all um and that's exciting for me but I am also not doing it all on my own it's really important to me to bring in professionals who are brilliant and who can do much better than I can in certain areas. So the Aletheia group is going to be hiring and we are going to be looking for people who we can trust to support our clients in their own unique way, um, all as part of integrative 
uh, soul center transformative medicine. So with that said, if you have any interest in, in any interest in working with me and the growing team, send me an email. You can find links in show notes and stuff like that, or DM me on the socials, um, leave a comment on YouTube, all of that stuff. And if you have found any of the content of the Unveil podcast valuable at all, we'd really love it if you shared us with your friends and made our podcast reach more voices, more ears even. Um, we don't get sponsorship for this podcast. We don't really promote this podcast. The reason we are as, as you know successful as we are is because you have done the work for me. And I am always going to trust you to do the work for me um, and for my team. Um, I love being able to have these conversations. I love being able to bring this work to the public. I am always amazed when people say, yes, they'll, they'll be interviewed by me. Um, I always have fun in the conversations and I really feel like we're at the point where, um, I get to focus more back on the Unveil podcast and bringing on more brilliant people to support the evolution and the education of us all. Um, I learn something every time I have a conversation. And even if I'm in a bad space and I log in to record, I get motivated and inspired by my guests. So I'm really looking forward to the episodes that I've got coming up. I have a really wonderful, joyful episode with one of my clients coming up. Um, and she's awesome. And so, and we had a laugh, we had so much fun and I like doing that. Um, I'm also going to potentially be bringing some of the Unveil Academy students on, um, especially the ones who are really thriving in their coaching businesses, which is several of them. So there is a real beauty to, um, everything that's happening at the moment it feels very new very fresh very kind of like just the seedlings just starting to grow um but I'm finding my feet and I'm finding myself uh really nourished by the fact that I'm finding my feet so thank you for listening to this if you've got to this far you're a hero you deserve a medal <laughs> this has been a, a very long soliloquy um I appreciate you all so much I love that I get to touch your lives and I never ever take a single second of that for granted so with that thank you for being here um listening to the unveil podcast today and more guest episodes coming next week <laughs>